In this video, we're going to look at transformations, and in particular, f of x plus a. So if you have a function of x, and then add a to it. Well, if you've done that, you're going to be adding a to each one of the y coordinates. And the effect that has is the graph is translated a squares upwards. So for instance, if you had a quadratic that looked like this, and you added 2 to the function, what would happen is each one of the coordinates would move 2 squares upwards, um, the y coordinate would increase by 2, and therefore the graph would move up 2 squares and would look like this. Okay, um, If it was f of x, f of x minus a, then what would happen is a would be subtracted from each one of the y coordinates, and the graph would be translated a squares downwards. So what would happen is the graph would move down a squares. Let's look at some exam questions. So, here we've got a figure, 1, and it shows a sketch of the curve with equation y equals f of x, and it passes through the point 0, 7, 7, 0, and it looks like that. So the first question says, uh, sketch the curve where you've got f of x and then plus 3. So what's going to happen is this curve will move 3 squares upwards. So instead of crossing at 7 on the y-axis, it will now cross at 10 on the y-axis. Okay, so that coordinate would be 0, 10. And this point, instead of being 7 across and 0 up, will now be 7 across and 3 up. So it would move up like so. And that would then be 7, 3. Okay, and then the curve would look exactly the same, but just translated up to that position. Okay, so the curve, each one of the points would just move 3 squares upwards. And the main thing is that this coordinate, which is 0, 7, the y-intercept, would move up to 0, 10. And the minimum point, which was 7, 0, would move up to 7, 3. Let's have a look at another question. Uh, this time we've got a curve, and it goes up like so, reaches the maximum point at minus 2, 5, and then goes down and approaches the asymptote of y equals 1, so it never reaches the height of 1. It says... Um, on a separate diagram, sketch the curve f of x plus 2. So this whole graph is going to be shifted 2 squares upwards. All the points will move up 2 squares. So, And also the asymptote will move up 2 squares. So let's start off actually with the asymptote. So the asymptote was y equals 1. You're going to add 2 to it. So it's going to move up to y equals 3. So the asymptote will be at y equals 3. Uh, the curve will look... Um, exactly the same except for higher by two squares or translated two squares upwards so it would look the same so it would reach the maximum point and then come down like so okay I'm um, not a very good sketch but it would just move up like that like so and the point here was minus two five it's been moved uh, translated two squares upwards so it'll still be at minus two here so it'll still be minus two but the corner will be minus two seven because it's moved two squares upwards so that's it. So the asymptote would move two squares up, the maximum point would move two squares up, and the shape of the graph was meant to look exactly the same. Okay, next exam question. Now, this one says uh, you've got a curve, and it looks like that. It looks like a cubic, actually. And it says the function of x plus a, so they're going to add a to it, and it has a minimum point of 3, 0. So at the minute, the minimum point is here, this minimum point of 3 minus 5. And what's going to happen is this graph is going to be shifted up a squares. And it says the minimum point is going to move to 3, 0. So it's going to move to here. Okay. So it just wants to know how many squares it's going to move the graph up. So this point goes to here. So what would happen is it would move this point up. It would come down and up again. Uh, so it would move up 5 squares, something like that. Terrible diagram. But it's moved up 5 squares. So the question says, write down the value of a. Well, it would have to be f of x plus 5. So the value of a is a equals 5. OK, and our last exam question. This question says, uh, you've got this graph. Obviously, it's, it's a reciprocal graph. It's the graph y equals 2 over x. So it looks like so. And it says, draw the sketch of the curve for y equals 2 over x minus 5. Now, obviously, this one doesn't have the f of x part. Uh, because it's actually given you the function. We can see here that the function is 2 over x, and you've got 2 over x, which is the function, but then it has minus 5. So in other words, what's going to happen is it's going to move the graph 5 squares down. So the asymptotes are the y-axis and the x-axis. 
But if you move it five squares down, what's going to happen is that the y-axis will still be an asymptote. But this asymptote, the x-axis, will move five squares down. So it's going to move down, asymptote, straight line, to the point y, or to the line equation y equals minus five. So the asymptote would move five squares down, and then the graph would look the same. So it would have the same shape. So it would come look like this, and look like this. So what it does, does is it moves the whole graph down five squares. So if you just moved it down five squares, you'd have the asymptote at minus five, and the shape would look exactly the same. Now again, because this one is, it doesn't have the f of x part, but you can just see that you've got two over x, and then you've got two over x, which is the function, subtract five. So I'll just move the graph down five squares.